classified can't interval. take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... Kidnapped! Oh, Ricky! I'll save you! Come in, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! You can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? Find our boyfriends and beat the life out of whoever took them. Good plan. Thanks. <gasps> I just came up with it. Whoa, you are like crazy smart, Misako. <laughs> Send us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? To find out who sent us that text? Oh, yeah! It says, uh, blocked caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on.
look, it's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako. Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm teaching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls, haven't seen them, but we'll like so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. Nice. Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. Gonna be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about puberty. Puberty? But I don't know what that is. That's cause you're ignorant, Timmy. Puberty stands for punching until break. Explode right towards you. Wow. Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. Holy <laughs> jeez, is that? A bobo! Glad to meet you, Timmy! You're so huge! All oh, thanks to puberty! With no effort, you can get as big as me! Give it a try? I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to punch harder than that, Timmy! Today, we're going to learn about puberty. Puberty? Which way are we headed? Downstairs. The exit to the front. Great plan. I just hope Miss Suzu is not here. Today. 
Oh, geez, what if she is? You're gonna let a 300 pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No!
no sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Out of our way, Miss Suzu! Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha-ha! <laughs> you scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly! No way! Flies are easy to hurt! As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <sighs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years! Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu! I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of the school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed. Get over here. <laughs> are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. I'll make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey, is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. Sorry for punching you so much.
Get out of that crappy school. What? For sure. Wanna go see a movie? Yeah. We're looking for our boyfriends, remember? Oh yeah. We should ask if they wanna go too. Yeah. Let's go find that creepy guy. Is that supposed to mean something to us? We've been neighbors since third grade. Oh yeah! Hey Masako, it's that creepy guy who lives down the street from you. 
Oh, yeah. Didn't you get kicked out of your school for taking secret photos of the girls' volleyball team? Who, me? <laughs> uh, anyway, nice weather, right? You, you catch that recent sports game? What do you want, Godai? I've been watching you two. See? Ew. And I think I can help. You're looking for Ricky and Kunio, right? Well, I keep tabs on everyone. You know who took my Ricky poo? Not yet, but I will soon. In the meantime, you help me, and I'll help you. What do you want? For starters, I'm pretty hungry. Go get me a double Merv burger. Stop being lazy. Yeah, it's just down the street. Exactly. Bring me a double Merv burger and you will be handsomely rewarded. Miladies, because I'm so handsome. <laughs> get it? What you need? What you need? See you later. Hey there, buy something. Uh huh. Hey there, buy something. Drop by any time.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Deadly! Get in my dojo and fight me! I miss my brother! <laughs> Happy rampaging! Come back soon! Get ya! Hey, what can I get ya? See you later! <sighs> More customers? Let me know if you want anything. Huh? That's all you're going to buy? Your burger. Ah, royal beef of the gods. I'm never eating fast food again. We got your dumb burger. Now, what do you know about Cunio and Ricky? Boy, that hit the spot. Okay, you mentioned they were talking to someone creepy looking. No, we didn't, actually. How did you? Well, you know, word gets around. Anyway, my guess is they were talking to Yamada. Who's that? A kid from Reiho High School. Or he used to be, anyway. Before he started practicing the dark arts. That's not a thing. It's totally a thing. Yamada usually hangs out at the mall. Go see if he's there. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Misako. Good luck. And keep an eye out for your old pal, Godai. Maybe we can help each other out again. I'll be around.
That might not be necessary. Yeah, but it's fun. Your name's Hiroshi, right? You remembered me. I took your lunch money once. Yeah. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Anyway, the mall is supposed to be open, but that security guard, Pattinson, must be asleep at home again. How do we get inside? Just hang out here for a while. He'll eventually wake up and come to work. What? No, we need to get in there now. We have reasons, important ones. Hey, me too. The latest issue of Cosmic Mega Babes just got released. And if you think I'm going to download the digital manga version, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. I don't know what any of that means. Where's this guard live? North Ravine Lane. But I wouldn't recommend waking him. I, uh, I tried that once. Thanks, Hiroshi. We'll be right back.
Get out of my house! 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 the mall.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? dojo and fight me! Go beat up the world, dude! Nice job! And now open these doors so we can start shopping! Squee! No. But... Kyoko. Just a few stores? Remember, Ricky? <sighs> okay, let's go find that spooky Amada guy. Or leave, okay? That thing? Later, losers.
let you in! What do you want? Did you get your Space Girls comic book thingy? Uh, Cosmic Mega Babes? Yeah, but they only had the standard edition cover. Ugh. I could barely bring myself to read it three times. We can't find Yamada. Anywhere else he might be? He also hangs around the construction site. But if you go there, be careful. Why? Because it's a construction site. Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks and stuff. Anytime! I mean, like, literally any time. My life is pretty boring. Please, enter! We have only the finest goods. Welcome to Edwina's. Have a look around.
Ugh, customers. Ugh, customers. Construction site? This is so yucky. Yo, Magic Boy! You up there? My name's not Magic Boy! He's up there. Come on, let's go beat some info out of him. Ladies, welcome to my lair. This is a rooftop. Yeah, not even a finished one. If rooftops can be lairs. Whatever, we're looking for Kunio and Ricky. That big girl said you hang out with them, do ya? <laughs> As if. Those guys are losers. What did he say about my Ricky poo? Chill, Kyoko. I'll chill this guy's face! Relax, I haven't talked to him in years. I thought you guys were friends. We were... a long time ago. What's happening? Oh, it's a flashback. No one cares, Yamada! We were just kids then. I was ten years old when my family moved to River City. I hated them for moving. I hated having to leave my friends behind. I hated lots of things. I hate you guys! Is this gonna take long? I was sure I'd never make another friend. But, as we unpacked, this boy across the street said hello. Hey. His name was Kunio, and he seemed... nice. He is nice. Now where is he? Is Ricky in the story? Kunio and I became best friends. <laughs> we read comics together, watched TV, played intergalactic space rangers. 
Life was good. Aw, see, that's sweet. Only because Kunio's in it. Then one day, a girl transferred to our school. Her name was Hasabe, and she was an angel. It was the first and last time I ever fell in love. Hasabe, oh, I can't stand her. Yeah, she's sort of the worst. I ran to the park after school that day, excited to tell my best friend Kunio about the girl I would soon marry. Wait, aren't you like 10? Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. But when I got to the park, Kunio was already there. And so was Hasabe. Oh, dang, that's hecka sad. Or Kunio, maybe. That trash girl never deserved him. That night, I decided I would get my revenge on Kunio, on Hasabe, on everyone. I turned to the dark arts to become stronger. That's creepy. I don't like scary things. Wrap it up, Merlin. Then later in middle school. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I lost the love of my life and my best friend in the same day. But thanks to the dark arts, I would never again be. Okay, wait up. Love of your life? You barely met the girl. Did he even meet her? Wait, yeah, did you even meet her? Love needs no introduction. That's not how love works. Listen, freak show. I don't care about your childhood, your crush on trash queens, or any fakey magic tricks you learned. We're looking for Kunio. And Ricky. And Ricky. So either tell us who took him, or stop wasting our time. <laughs> you girls are all the same. We look nothing alike. Always insulting me. Always treating me like dirt. You look like dirt. You know, part of why I learned the dark arts was to meet girls. Looks like that's about to pay off. Ew. Ladies, welcome to my lair. I was 10 years old. I lost the love of my life and my best
Ladies, welcome to my lair. I was 10 years old. I lost the love of my life and my best friend. Try any more of that magic crap on us. Yeah, because it's spooky. Seriously, I can't even watch horror movies. <laughs> Never thought I'd get beat up by a pair of girls. I could have guessed it. We won the battle, so tell us where our boyfriends are. I have no idea. Why does this keep happening? You really have no idea? We miss him pretty bad. Try Uptown. Sometimes they hang out there after school. How do you know that? I hang out on top of a building all day, remember? I see lots of things. That's weird. And sad, but whatever. See you later, creepy.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Bro, Seth, you ready to break a leg? <laughs> Happy rampaging. Come back soon.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Killer! What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? <laughs> Happy rampaging! Come back soon! Huh? Seems pretty fancy. And expensive. And judgy. We don't belong here, do we? No, we do not.
It's you two again. I got another mission for you. This time it's that pompous mayor of ours, always acting like he runs River City. Psh. You seen that hideous golden statue they built of him? Well, I want it gone. Destroy it, and I'll reward you. Oh, hey, it's Yoko. Sup? What are you doing in Uptown? I live here. You're rich? No, but my parents are. Have you seen Kunio and Ricky around here? Nope. Why, they ditch you guys again? Again? No, they got kidnapped. For real? That's pretty metal. No, it's pretty sad and it makes my heart hurt. Oh, Ricky. Kyoko, show her your text. Oh, yeah. Hmm, you should go talk to Habari. Who? Uh, the fashion designer? Jeez, don't you guys know anything? I shop at discount. I found the shirt at a bus stop. The thug in this photo, the one shoving your boyfriends into the van, he's wearing one of Hibari's custom jackets. Ooh, nice detectiving. Everyone who's cool wears Hibari. No offense. None taken. Hibari's warehouse is at the east end of Uptown. Show her this photo. She might know who took your boyfriends.
video games here. Get your games! Right here. Continue. Five, four, three. that fashion lady and ask her about the dude in the photo. Asako? Yeah? Do you think we're badly dressed?
Let's find out. Hey! Any of you ladies know a Habari? They're not answering. Maybe they're busy. Well, they don't have to be rude. Let's come back later.
to you guys again. What's up, Hasabe? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Looking stylish as hell. Do you two know this fashion lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. I usually am. Kibari is the fashion icon in River City. She's making us custom outfits. Well, where is she? Yeah, we got questions. Oh, let me guess. How do socks work? <laughs> What's a bra? <laughs> I know what a bra is! Ugh, you need an offering for Hibari to show up, Misako. Jeez, everyone knows that. Except them, apparently. An offering? Something fancy. Expensive. And gold. Can it just be colored gold? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kyoko. Let's go find an offering. We need something gold to make that weirdo fashion designer show up. But we're so poor. Let's try the pawn shop in the toy district. Maybe we can trade them something. Like a knuckle sandwich. How <laughs> you're talking.
pawn shop? Looks pretty empty. We have to head downstairs. It's in the basement. Can't we take the elevator? Yeah. No, wait. It's broken. I'm not used to walking this much.
wonder why everyone in our town is so violent? Nope. I mean, everyone's always punching and kicking each other. Like, everywhere we go, all day long. I guess so. What's your point? Ugh. Nothing. <laughs> to my pawn shop. Is that a talking skeleton? Rude! You act like I'm not even here. Sorry. How do you talk without lips? Unimportant! How can I help you? Might I interest you girls in a stuffed monkey? Ew, no! How about an unstuffed monkey? We need something gold. Well, I'm all out of golden monkeys. What about that golden cat? Oh, that? A treasure indeed, from lands far away. How much, Boney? One million dollars! You're joking. I would never joke about such a precious item. Can we get a discount? Well, I can take five dollars off. But just so you know, that's pretty much break-even for me. What about that cat? The other gold one? 
Oh, that? Ten dollars. It looks exactly like the million dollar one. Yeah, but it's not real gold. Sold. <laughs> Let me bag that up for you. <laughs> Welcome to Skullmageddon's. What else? <laughs> Welcome to Skullmageddon's. <laughs> Tell your friends. Yay, the elevator's working again. Oh. Let's move it, Kyoko. No joke. Oh. Don't ever say that. Kyoko, you're just a joko. Hey, that rhymes. I know, that's why I said it. Please stop it. Or what, you're gonna cry? Of course she is, dumb baby. Look, she's already sniveling. Snivel, little snail, do it. Yo, what's the problem here? Mind your own business. Yeah, beat it, new girl. Sure thing. Did she just kick my head? Mars, don't me. Kid, what's your name? So cool. That's a weird name. I'm Masako. You're so cool, Masako. Tell me something I don't know. Come on, let's get this knockoff cat back to that fashion designer.
nice entrance. Enjoy your gold cat or whatever. Hmm. It's a little banged up. It's also not real. Heavy! It's not real heavy. Except it is, because it's gold. Right, Kyoko? Oh! Ah, uh, that is correct. The offering is acceptable. What would you like designed? Can you do mini skirts? Actually, we need information. I don't do information. I do fashion. And you're wasting my time. Our boyfriends got kidnapped. The guy in this photo is wearing one of your jackets. So? Find me someone in River City not wearing my fashion. We aren't. Ugh, I can see that. Enough insults! We got your dumb cat! Now float down here and help us! I'm sick of this crappy cosplay spider stick! You look ridiculous! <laughs> She's just a little grumpy. Now, about that mini skirt. I have never in my life been spoken to as you just addressed me! You come into my den looking like high school hobos and lecture me on fashion! I like fashion. Fashion is fun. No, fashion is life. Just not for you two. Entrance. Enjoy your gold cap.
Oh, you're tougher than you look. And you can fly. Can you teach us how to do that? No. We need information. And a miniskirt. But I can come back for that. I don't know the man in your photo. But if your boyfriends were indeed kidnapped, you should head downtown. To the slums? Ew! You're trying to say we belong in a dump. Probably. But if anyone goes missing nine times out of ten, they're taken downtown. There's a secret tunnel behind my factory that will lead you straight there. Why do you have that? Be gone, fashion disasters! Secret tunnel. Ew, I can. This is downtown. More like frown town. I am so unhappy right now. We better start looking for Kunio and Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
my dojo and fight me! What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? I miss my brother! Go beat up the world, dude. Ha! 
Do you need help? Oh, hi. Do you need help? Yep. See you later. Thanks.
look, it's a kid. That's right, it's me, Naritaka. What you doing here, kid? Yeah, this is not a nice part of town. Exactly. I came here to train myself and get tough like my hero, Ricky. My Ricky? The very same. You look pretty beat up. All part of the routine. You get any hits in yourself? In due time. Now, what brings you beautiful ladies down here? Are you training as well? No, we're pretty good at fighting. I could take your head off with my elbow. That would be a sight. Can you teach me? No. Ricky and Kunio have been kidnapped. Zounds! And some hideous fashionista said they might be here. Double Zounds! You haven't seen Kunio or Ricky, have you? I have not, but I did hear rumors about some big bad who lives in the abandoned subway terminals. They say he steals children in TV sets. Maybe he took my boyfriend, Ricky. You mean my boyfriend, Ricky. That's what I said. Okay, kid. Well, keep it up. I'm sure you'll punch someone back eventually. I won't stop until I do. He's gonna die here, Misako. Probably. something. Yes, can I help you? Goodbye then. Enter shop equals one. Enter shop equals one.
Street Terminal? It's blocked by trash. Why is trash everywhere? Come on, let's find another way in. My hair smells like a used diaper. What up, ladies? You come all the way out here to see me? You smell like fast food wrappers. You noticed. Hey, that crane you got there work? Yeah, huh? Shall we take it for a test drive? Ew, no, yuck. We need some trash moved. Then I'm your guy. Great, come on. Oh, you mean now? <laughs> no can do. See, uh, I dropped the keys in a trash compactor. So go get them. The thing is, it's filled with zombies. And? Thing is, I hate zombies, like, a lot. Me too. So... So you want us to go get your keys for you, then you'll use your crane to move the trash so we can get inside the subway? Sounds like a plan, dude. Fine. Let's go, Kyoko. W wait, don't you want to know my name? Nope. I I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with Benji. Totally don't care. So we're going to climb inside a trash compactor. Seems that way. And fight smelly zombies surrounded by smelly trash. Yep. Could this day get any more gross? It's still early. <laughs> Ew! I can't believe we're fighting zombies in a trash compactor! Wanna give up? Am I Ricky? Never! your dumb keys. They are smelly, and now we are too! Sweet, thanks! But, uh, these aren't my keys. What? But we got them from trash zombies! Nah, my keys are blue and have a keychain that says WICKED! But no biggie, turns out they were in my pocket the whole time. What? Funny, right? I got zombie brains in my mouth! On purpose? Can you move our trash with your crane now? Oh, totally! Uh, but, but first, you gotta guess my name. No. Fine, whatevs. I didn't want to tell you anyway. head inside. I'm sure there's plenty more trash inside, too. Come on. Let's find out if Kunio and Ricky are down. <laughs> or I could head back outside and uh, watch your backs. Don't be a wuss, Kyoko. Come on.
you two supposed to be? Girls? High schoolers? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. A pair of scrawny bugs sneaking into my web. What you want, bugs? We're looking for our boyfriends. I can help you with that. My name's Bobo, and I am, uh, currently single. Ew! No, we already have boyfriends. Not you. Definitely not you. Fine then. Better crawl back out of here, bugs, before I stomp on you both. Did you kidnap our boyfriends? I don't know. I kidnapped lots of people. Why? My parents didn't love me enough as a baby. Wow, that's strangely honest. I'm so sad. Masako, I'm gonna cry. Well, either you took them or you didn't. Now answer me before I slam your thick skull through these walls! <laughs> you got a mouth on you, sweetie. Got a couple of fists, too! Yeah. Let's see how well you can work them. Okay, let's go. supposed to be.
So what are you two supposed to be? Okay. <laughs> Two supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> Two supposed to be. Okay. Come <laughs> on! 
are you two supposed to be? Okay, let's do this! <laughs> Too supposed to be. Too supposed to be. Oh! 
feels so good. Okay, okay, I know when I'm beat. You girls are tougher than you look. Nah, we're just tougher than you look. What about the boys in this photo? Mm. Sorry, but I ain't seen them. But you kidnapped, like, everyone. So then maybe they weren't kidnapped. But then, where are they? Who knows? Jeez, you two really did a number on me. To know how I can pull tonight's shift in this condition. Shift? I was supposed to run security at the noise concert tonight. I thought you kidnapped people for money. Yeah, but it don't pay what it used to. Who's noise? You don't know noise? Everyone listens to her music. I got all her albums, even the rare import stuff. Music hurts my ears. She's performing in Ocean Heights. Go check it out. Practically every boy in River City goes missing when noise is in town. Cuneo's not like that. Ricky would never. Whatever you say. <laughs> Rampaging. Come back soon.
What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Get in my dojo and fight me! Yeah. 
Hours. Later. Let's find that concert. Yeah. And if Kunio and Ricky aren't there, maybe someone there knows where they are. But I'm stinky.
Thank you for coming. Please enter. Let us master the art of breaking faces. You're welcome. Hey, welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. So what if it is? Let us aboard. We got business with her. So what if you do? Please, we're in love. You and everyone else. But noise don't love you, so beat it. Not with her. I'm in love with Ricky. I don't know who that is. And Kunio. Still don't know or care. Now beat it. I'll beat you. Look, mister. What did you say your name was? I didn't. There must be some way we can get on that yacht. Not without a VIP pass. And where can we get one of those? Degenerates like you will never be VIP. What did he say? Okay, we understand. See you later. Come on, Misako. Why do you Welcome to my dark emporium. the lights. See you Stop soon. me. I was gonna rip that guy's head off. That's why I stopped him. Ah! Lame. Come on, you heard him. All we need is a VIP pass and he'll let us on board. Yeah, but where do we get one? There's a fancy hotel on the other end of Ocean Heights. Lots of rich people there. I bet one of them has a VIP pass.
you. Ah, oh, it's you. Later, ladies. Got cash, right? Pay me. Uh, well, come on in, don't just stand there. Pay me. 
time's up, so take off! May I help you? Hey, Jeeves. We need some info. The shelter is on 8th Street. What? No, we're not homeless! Why, do we look homeless? You don't not look homeless. We need VIP passes to the noise concert. Got any? I have one pair of VIP passes for Noise's ultimate fans. Well, yeah, I mean, that's us. Sure is. Oh, really? Then I'm sure you can answer these three questions about her. Obviously. What is Noise's favorite food? Uh, milkshakes? No. Her dog's name? Captain Barkington? No. Her hometown? Uh, here? Be gone! I await a pair of Noise's true superfans. Only they shall be her VIPs. I bet Ricky and Cunio are on that yacht right now. Looking all cute and muscly. Calm down. You heard that butler, dude. You just gotta learn those three answers. So won't he recognize us? Nah. Money don't recognize poor people. Hey, I'm not that poor.
three questions again? Good afternoon. Welcome. Please enter. Noise's favorite drink. Food. Also... Yoko! Misako! Hey! It's Mihoko, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Mihoko! It's so funny running into you guys out here. Hilarious. What are you up to? Bucky, my dog! Isn't she the cutest, woodest widow doggy ever? Guess what her name is? Garbage face. What? No, it's... It's Molly McMuffins. She's super cute. Right, Misako? Yeah, totally. Yesterday, we even ran into noise walking her dog on the beach. Can you believe it? Did you catch her dog's name? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Totally. So are you guys headed to the fair, or...? What was her dog's name? Oh, her dog's name is Dog. But like, D-A-W-G, Dog, you know? Like how the cool kids say it? I hate everything about this conversation. Thanks so much. We gotta get running. Bye, Mihoko! Bye, Kyoko! Bye, Misako! Say bye to the nice ladies, Molly McMuffins! <laughs> Yeah! 
Noid's concert? Sorta. Of. Can you believe she finally came back to River City? Yeah, totally! I mean, how long has it been, right? Um, 13... At least six months. Oh, yeah. Maybe longer, even? I think maybe, yeah. Anyway, you don't have any extra passes to the concert, do you? <laughs> That's a good one. You know they sold out months ago. Yeah, I'm hilarious. You could only get them in Noise's hometown. Where was that again? Bunsenville? Perfect, later. Wait, don't you guys want to hang? Sorry, we got a jet. Bye, Kauri! But I wanted to hang. Concert. We're her number one fans. Oh, really? Like, the biggest. Yay! Go noise and stuff. Hmm. If you are indeed her biggest fans, what is a. Fatty Tuna! And where. Bunsonville! And. Dog! But how the cool kids spell it. I'm impressed. Here are two VIP passes to the concert. Enjoy. And you seriously don't remember us? No. Should I? Nope. Thanks for the passes! how we keep running into each other, isn't it? You ever heard of One Hit Tommy? Got a hell of a fist on him. He'll take down anyone with a single punch. He's been loitering in a nearby bathroom, and I really gotta pee. Go take him out so I can drain the, uh, <laughs> you know.
Well, hey there. Interesting. Ah, it's you. See you around. Welcome to my dark emporium. You sure? Soon. Get them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please enter. Let us master the art of breaking faces. You're welcome. A good one. You're welcome. Nice move. Please enter. Let us master the art of breaking faces. We learn attacks hoping to never use them. Is legitimate. Yes, and so's my fist if you don't get out of our way. Your fist is legitimate. <laughs> We're kind of in a hurry, sir. Really big noise fans, and we don't want to miss the first song. The passes are good. Enjoy the show. Well, that's weird. Welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. You're welcome. Hey, welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. with you until it's not.
boyfriends. Yeah, we miss their snuggles. Security! We've got some more crazies up here. What's the matter? Can't deal with us yourself. You calling me a wuss? If the shoe fits. Misako, her shoes are like hella amazing. Yeah, they kind of are. Ugh, enough! I didn't steal your boyfriends, but if they ditched you to be here tonight, <laughs> what else is new? Wipe that smirk off your face before I punch it off! I'd like to see you try, Dingle Butt. Dingle Butt? It's an insult, you tool! Nobody insults me, but me! Get bit! Get wrecked! Get beat! Get sliced! Get destroyed! And get off my stage! Nozomi, is that you? What? Nozomi, that is so totally you! Shut up! You don't know me! Of course I do! Remember when you transferred to my school in grade 5? This girl's crazy! I don't know her! Security! And how no one wanted to sit with you? Please, don't do this to me! I know a cool kid when I see one! Hey there! I'm Kyoko! Oh, it's, uh, Nozomi. Cool name. It sounds like Noise Zombie. You just moved here? Yeah, from Bunsenville. But I don't think the kids here want to be friends. Not with a dingle butt like me. Well, I'll be your friend. Surprise hug! Oh! Let's be best friends, yeah? I'd... I'd like that. But you weren't my best friend! You left a month later and I was all alone! I got expelled for stealing basketball hoops. That's where you got all those? Uh-huh. Weirdo. Enough! You come on my stage and embarrass me in front of all my fans? We've got VIP passes. Yeah, can't we be up here? So you're big fans, huh? I know your dog's name is Dog. Then get ready for this next song. It's a real. Killer track! She's going to murder us now, isn't she? Yep.
you weren't my best friend. You left him. are so metal. I prefer trip hop. We survived your song. Now tell us where Kunio and Ricky are. I have no idea where your boyfriends are. Uh, shouldn't you? They were kidnapped. Or maybe not. We don't know. It's been a long day. We thought they might be here because like all the boys love noise. <laughs> you got that right. 
Okay, you should try Sanwakai Tower. That's where Sabu runs his criminal empire. If your boyfriends got kidnapped, odds are they ended up there. How do you know all this? Sabu paid for my first album. I'm not proud of that. It's okay, Nozomi. Thanks. Let's get out of here, Kyoko. Bye, Jinglebutt! Okay, you rejects! Enough sappy story time! Are you ready to rock? One, two, three, four! Welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. Ah, I miss my brother. A good one. Hey, welcome to my dojo. Let's enlighten ourselves. Nice move. Ah, I miss my brother. Peace be with you until it's not. Welcome. Please enter. Welcome. Please enter. to my dark emporium. One of a kind. Excellent. <laughs> ah, hit the lights. soon.
Friends. <laughs> Me again? Wow, small world, huh? It's like every dumpster you bump into. There's Godai. I see you're headed into San Wakai Tower. While you're in there, can you do me a favor? There's five Yakuza who have betrayed the family and turned informant. Find them and make them regret that decision. You can spot them by their red outfits, but feel free to beat up everyone else too. You know, for funsies. those girls again. Can it, Hasabe? It has not been a good day. <sighs> rude. So rude. What are you girls doing here? Sunbathing? In front of a Yakuza building? The sun is perfect here. Yeah, don't you know that? Oh wait, I forgot. You're all pale and pasty and... We don't got time for this! Step aside. We need to find our boyfriends. Your boyfriends? <laughs> Could they be any more clueless? What's so funny? Kunio loves me. Riki is mine. Do you honestly think they'd give a pair of rejects like you two the time of day? Why does it matter what time it is? I don't believe it. Kunio, he, he likes me. Sure he does. And Riki is totes my BF. Go ahead and ask him. Oh, we will. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Later, losers.
Obviously. Yeah. Those jerks have been jealous of us since we were little kids. Now come on! Yeah. Let's defeat this army of Yakuza soldiers and get our boyfriends back!
knuckles are hurting. Yeah, so are my knees. Who do you think Kunio and Ricky are? If this Sabu guy's got them, odds are they're in his penthouse. Guess we're going up. <laughs>
Inside that penthouse. Nobody gets inside except. Please don't ask us to guess your dog's name. Or buy you a golden cat. What? No, I was gonna say no one gets inside except the boss. And it's my job to keep hooligans like you from entering. Hooligans? Yeesh, that's judgy. Yeah, especially coming from a Yakuza henchman holding an Uzi. Uh, this is my job. Not a very good one. Enough chit-chat. Open those doors before I open your skull. Not gonna happen, baby. Baby? <sighs> those doors are reinforced tungsten titanium alloy. To get through there, you'd need like four explosive charges. Not three, not five, but four charges. Yeah, that'd be just enough to blow them open. Hey, wait. Weren't there explosive charges next to the door we just came in? Yeah, huh? Will those work, Mr. Criminal Guy? Ah, oh, me and my big mouth. Let's find those explosives. And blow things up. Only the penthouse door. Yeah, right. In the weapons room. Is this that explosive thingy? Yeah, now be careful you don't blow us up.
explosive. Let's go. But I've never been in a casino. Choco. But fine. <laughs>
you're Sabu? He's prettier than I expected. Silence! My name is Sabugo, daughter to the great Sabu, and head of my father's empire while he is indisposed. On the toilet? I think she means prison. Before I kill you both, I'm curious why you felt the need to storm my tower and defeat all my men. And women. We noticed you got a lot of girl Yakuza too. Which is seriously cool. Totally. Girl power! I'm sorry I asked. Prepare to die! Wait! We're here looking for our boyfriends! Kunio and Ricky, did you take them? What would I possibly want with a pair of high school boys? Oh crap! Guess we better look somewhere else now. I hope the next place has more shopping. You two aren't going anywhere. What? You're gonna call your guards on us? In case you haven't noticed, they're all beat up. Yeah, we did that. For love. I don't need anyone to fight my fights for me. I hope you've enjoyed your lives up to this point. They're about to end.
You're Sabu? He's prettier than- Sabu? He's prettier than I expected.
impossible! Defeated by a pair of schoolgirl deviants! How? Just cause we're young. And cute! Don't mean we can't tear down this whole town to get our boyfriends back! Wretched little girls! You should respect power when you see it! You may have mystical tattoo creatures. And a really sharp sword. But that's nothing compared to the power we have! And that is... You wanna tell her? Let's do it together! The power of... trip to the spa is just what we needed. I agree, Kunio. It is relaxing. Huh? Ah, it's girls! Look away! The spa's for men only. Kunio! You big dummy, we've been looking all over for you! <laughs> we thought you were kidnapped, Ricky Poo! Ah, oh, jeez. It's those crazy girls again. What were their names? No idea. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Maybe Hasabe and Mommy are still up. Survive these River City girls 